Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick update for you. Made a mess. Motor's out. This motor's in. Uh, went in really good. This is just a intake I had laying around, but it will get a truck intake. Tony Ryder's mounts, you can see them. They're just fucking sweet. Man, set right in there. No problems. If you don't know Tony, you should follow him on Instagram or something. It's Tony Reiners, R-E-I-N-E-R-S. Fantastic fabricator and mechanic. Does a lot of Fox body and uh, Ford stuff in general. He's a f He'll do anything, but does a lot of that stuff. Uh, I ripped apart the dash. Uh, a friend donated a tack. His name's Tad Taylor, a friend of mine. Uh, big ol' five-inch monster motherfucker. <laughs> So, I pulled out the Speedo, it'll go where the Speedo goes, the gas tank's a stock tank, so I'm going to leave the other gauge, has the fuel, uh, might put something where the shifter, you know, setup's supposed to go, or something I want to jam the wide band, I have a wide band I got for 100 bucks in there, uh, as far as my budget, I'm literally on budget, I have like 20, it's like 2600 last night or something, I was looking into it, I gotta check out what I need and so on. The 480 drive shaft yoke from the truck I parted out. So that'll go with the trans, I mean with the drive shaft, sorry. Kind of out of it. Um, gotta finish installing this. This is a standard LS6 crank I got from somebody. I might be needing that soon. I'm finishing putting the gas tank in right now. I pulled it out and summed it. Let me see if I can. Get down here and show you. Uh, it was an eBay sump, and uh, I split it, you know, like kind of cut it down, and then made it fit a little better. I'm not the best welder in the world, but I, I figured it out. And uh, the two corners back there are really thin, so just to be sure, I leak tested and everything, but I threw some JB Weld epoxy on there. I cleaned it up real nice and then epoxied it. I think a lot of people uh, hit on that stuff say it leaks because you got to clean you know get like a clean surface and everything just like anything else another tip for that I don't know if when you're fucking with it's like that putty play-doh stuff you have to roll up uh, I learned this at work because we deal with some nasty shit if you put Windex on your fingers uh, it doesn't stick to you that's kind of just a cool stupid tip that you guys all probably know to fill up this gap I actually just took a piece can't see anymore because I just welded all over it <laughs> But uh, I took a piece of the sump that I cut off and just made a little, you know, I made it fit in there nice and then I welded it. Um, that works out well. I made it like that. I cut it and everything so it would be up higher so the pump doesn't have to suck as much. Pumps don't like sucking. <clears throat> I got the 8.8. .8. I'm going to get it from my friend. This is still the 7.5. I'm going to weld up the 8.8. .8. Um... Oh, my friend Ryan did some uh, cool stuff with these injectors. I didn't want to pay to get them flowed or cleaned, but at his work, he could he hooked it up and did some flow testing, just like into a water bottle, and did some. He's a pretty smart guy, so he did some testing. And it looks like they were pretty good. I messed up one injector, so this is only seven. And he said one of them was. A little bit high possibly could have been a well, you'll have um, you'll have ones that are like runaway ones that you can't really control and stuff like that you got to watch out for so I just wanted him to throw them in there and see if one make sure I didn't damage them before I even try to run it in the car because I'm pressed for time and then uh, you know two just to kind of see if he could give me some kind of roundabout to make sure I was on track with the other guys that are uncapping those if you want to Join the group on Facebook. There's a group DM uncapped injectors or decapped injectors. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of neat info starting. It's a newer page. So someone from the sloppy page saw the decapping deal and then made that page, which was I think it was valid because it seems to be a decent amount of info. Making a list. So gotta get to work. Uh, I'm somewhat avoiding the trans HD2 kit 
they got HD2 kit for this one to make it live and I don't know why I've just been kind of out of it on that so I'm gonna keep putzing on this other shit that I got going because I mean there's just a million things to do anyways and then uh, I really need to get the trans in though so it's kind of not good to lag on that I need to get the trans in so I can measure to get the drive shaft done up right and uh, as far as the drive shaft goes hopefully we might just be able to take what we need off of it and then weld it back on and then get a conversion joint for that big ass big ass uh, yoke my mom's husband owns a machine shop so he said that he'll help me try to be somewhat precise about slamming it in there we'll see I don't know I know people freak out about that but he said he's done it a bunch of times and had no issues so we'll probably run with no hood at the event there's another four-door Fairmont a town away in a junkyard that my friend sent a picture of. It's actually sitting about like this on jacks and everything with the hood up. So it has a hood. I just don't have the time. I would love to run up there, get it, and then cut it for the event. But since it's roadkill, I mean, they fucking never have a hood. So it's like a running joke. So i will probably just run no hood. And then... Showed you guys the turbo. That's the turbo that's going in. Parts are raining in still. I got more stuff coming today and tomorrow, so as unboxing goes, I'll grab it, show you, and try to make some videos as I go. If there's anything else you guys want to see, I know I don't have like a huge following, but I appreciate you know pretty steady amount of you guys watching shit. So if you guys are like yo, I want to see this or do a cool video or try to do a time lapse or some shit, I'll try to appease you. Just let me know. I'm just do this shit for fun and my own chronicles. So. Alright guys, have a good day.